What's up guys, this is Teddy. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This video, I'm gonna be talking about tree traversal and tree traversal is exactly the way it sounds. You are moving through a tree data structure in particular ways and tree traversal is one of those topics in algorithms and data structures that just is gives people so much trouble. But I think I have cracked the code. Like I think I found a good way to teach people tree traversals and this video, I'm just trying to get you in the door. Like I, if you really want tree traversals could be, uh, you could dedicate your whole career to tree traversal algorithms, but I'm just going to try and get you in the door and get you to the point where you can understand it. You can get the training wheels off. And if you want to go to more complex stuff, you can, but I'm just going to try and, you know, like I said, get, get enough fundamental knowledge so that you can at least understand what's going on. And there's two different ways to traverse trees and believe it or not we're just going to cover uh depth first we're actually not going to cover breadth first breadth first is level order and depth first is three other types of traversal techniques and breadth first is very uncommon and it's usually not tested in interviews because it's such an uncommon algorithm. And I'll touch on, I'll explain how it works very briefly, but I'm not gonna actually teach you how to code it. I'm just, like I said, trying to get you in the door, gonna teach you depth first, first. <laughs> and uh, after that, I'll teach you a little bit about level order, but uh, pre-order, post-order, in order, this is gonna sound really confusing and this kind of touches on what you need to do, but really what you need is you need a nice visual representation just like we have here and once again we're just going to cover depth first right now and we will talk about each one so if you could and you, you're going to need to write this down like you all you want to do whenever you first start learning trees is make a very simple like the, make the simplest tree that you possibly can and write down these and this goes back to the actual PowerPoint of the order and I just made it so that you just have nice little handy uh, acronyms and essentially for each one for in order traversal and we'll just kind of walk through this you just kind of have to walk through each one and then we'll move up to a really big tree data structure just like this one and do a more complex one but for right now all you need to know for how to do in order is you go left node right so it would be two let's see left node and node also could mean root so um, I'll just put that right I'll put that right down here node also equals root um, depending you're, you'll see it in various some you'll see some people call it a root you'll see some people call it a node and uh, that's essentially this right here, the parent or the, 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 the root of the tree. So left node right for in order traversal. So it'd be two, one, three. And that is pretty much a in order tree traversal. You're gonna go up and you're gonna go down just like that. And that is how you do that one. Another thing about in order tree traversals is you have to realize is that you're pretty much and this changes and this get, as the trees get bigger this gets more confusing but essentially you're moving from left to right if there's a if there's a general way to describe what's going on in this algorithm you're literally moving through a tree from left to right pre-order is going to be up and down so pre-order and post order you will notice that as you move through the tree with pre-order you're going to be going down so we've got node which is going to be one we've got left right which is going to be two it's going to be three so one two three makes sense so you're going to go one two and then you're going to go over to the other one and it, you're going to be moving up like that but you kind of get the picture we're going to be going up uh traversing from the top down so that is a pre-order traversal then for the last one the post order it's going to be left right node so it's going to be two three one and just like it uh, just the way I described it, you're going from the top of the tree, or you're going from the bottom of the tree to the top of the tree, just like that. So you're going to go two, three, one. And that is in a very, very, in the simplest sense that I could possibly describe it, that's how you're going to be traversing a tree. But as you have probably already guessed, 
no tree is ever going to be that simple so you need to figure out how to do this on a larger tree and the rules still apply so i'm just going to drag all of this over to this bigger tree so i'm going to go over here i'm going to bring this tree i'm going to bring all of my little acronyms over here so i can remember stuff and then we're going to work on just a bigger tree so you can kind of get a, a better more realistic picture of what's going on in a lot of these algorithms so key point down here i've got a console log in our algorithm in any algorithm that you use in the future the node once you hit the node you know once you hit the node or you hit the root whatever you want to call it it's going to do a console log and in our code here in a second after i get done showing you guys how to traverse a bigger tree you'll know exactly what i mean and all, all these algorithms will begin to make a lot more sense so here we go basically the same exact thing so we're going to go for each one though we're going to have to i'll show you a trick on how to do this so for each one so let's just say we're going to do in order first we're going to go l n r and we're going to put our nice little acronym right here so l n r and this will make it so that you don't have to keep track of every single um, traversal that's going on and you can logically think about it and this is going to also be a very important vi uh, video on recursion too what we're doing is recursion and for each recursion you have to realize that the when the recursive function is plopped down on the stack what is going to happen is that that function is going to execute and then each recursion is going to happen again so essentially the recursive function is going to keep track of all our state and you can see how it can elegantly just start traversing all of these trees so we're going to go nr go lnr go lnr and we have lnr so first thing what you want to do is you want to start obviously at the root node so you go left so we're going to go down here we're going to go left we're going to go here mark out the left so each time that you traverse you go left left and because we can't go left what's going to happen is we're going to go ahead we're going to trigger our node and whenever we trigger a node we're going to console log it so after we've triggered our node we're going to go try to go right we can't go right so what's going to happen is we're just going to go we're going to go back up the chain so once we go here and the next one that we're going to do is we're going to hit our we're hitting our node then we're going to go six so six then we're going to try to go right then after we can't go right so we're going to go back up and the same exact thing is going to happen so we went to our node then we're going to go right boom right then we're going to go left we can't go left so we're going to trigger our node it's going to be eight then we're going to go right we can go right so we're going to go left we can't go left so we're going to trigger our node then we're going to try and go right we can't do that so we're going to trigger it's going to go all the way back up then it's going to go back up the chain we're going to trigger 10 then go right we're going to go left we can't go left so our node's going to trigger go here we're going to go right then this node's going to trigger or uh we're actually actually we're going to go left then this node's going to this node's going to trigger because we can't go anywhere then we're going to try to go right we can't so we're going to go back up this node's going to trigger it's going to go then we're going to go right so 22 and as you can see It's going to go all the way back up and our whole entire node has triggered and it's going to sh drive home the point of the in order so in order is left to right even if i did it maybe if i missed something or i didn't get everything right just remember that left it or in order is going from left to right and we can go ahead and we can clean up this whole entire thing it kind of sucks but this is really the only way that you can that you can visualize it and you learn it and I accidentally deleted that so I'm going to take that back and here we go we are going to start with the next one and then we're going to clear out our console log then we're going to go pre-order so pre-order 
it's going to go node LR in 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 LR sorry <laughs> if that's repetitive okay and okay so first things first just realize kind of what we're doing over here we are going from the top to the bottom and once again we're going to go ahead and we always start with our top so it's going to go node so we trigger 10 then we're going to go left so we triggered our node that's going to equal seven then we're going to go left we trigger our node that's going to equal six we're going to go left it's going to trigger our node we're going to go one then we're going to go left can't go left so then we're going to go back up and then we're going to go right can't go right so we're going to go back up then we're going to go back up oh wait a minute yeah we want to go right right here so we're going to go back down so we're going to trigger our node so eight can't go left then we're going to go right trigger our node can't go left or right so then we're going to go back up and then this whole entire process is going to go back again so we're going to go right down here so this is going to trigger left we don't have a left so we're going to have a right then we're going to go down here same process left 14 left right can't do that so we're going to go right then it's going to equal 22 can't go left or right so we're going to go back up and that is pretty much it for our pre-order and then we will finish up this last post order and we will begin the process of actually coding these algorithms and this is actually the most complicated part so don't worry about the actual coding of the algorithms they're pretty easy so this one you guessed it we are going to be going up and we're going to just do the same exact thing so l r n l r n l r n l r n Okay, now we're gonna do the same thing. So left, 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 right, node, one. So go back up, we don't have that. We have a six, then don't have that. So we're gonna go down here, don't have a left. We have a right, then we're gonna go to, don't have a left or right, we do have a node. Then we have eight, so we have node, node, then we're gonna go down, we're gonna go right. So we don't have a left, we do have a right. We have a left, left, we don't have a right. So we have 14. So cross out our node, we're gonna go right. So don't have left or right, we do have a node, so 22. We have a node coming up at the top, we have another 11, and then we have the 10, awesome. And that is pretty much it. So next thing, I hope that you have a pretty good idea of the actual uh, left or the, you know, how this thing actually traverses. And once you get this down, like the coding is going to be way easier. So all that you do is you have to look at these and you will see almost instantly. So remember how I said that the node is going to be a console log? Well, you're pretty much just going to put in order uh, functions in here and then you put the console log where the node is at. And if that doesn't make sense, it's gonna make perfect sense here in a second. So just bear with me for just a little bit. So we're gonna go back into our binary tree and now we can go ahead and we can code up our first in order traversal. And that's probably gonna be the easiest one. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to go in here. I'm going to make like a public facing function so that we can call this really easily. And I'm just going to put print and we're going to console log. Um, here and then we're going to go in order traversal. No, we're not going to do that. We go in order traversal. It's equal to the root. And we're going to go down here. We're going to go private 
void, and we're going to do our in order traversal, and we're going to pass in this tree node. We're going to pass in node, then we're going to just wrap this in a um, a null check. This is just called a just a null check. I I guess to, you technically you wouldn't have to do this. Actually, you would have to do this because this this is going to be null. Um, once it checks for one of the bottom ones, actually don't listen to that yet. You need null because it's going to check for uh, bottom nodes. And if those bottom nodes are null and you don't have that check, it's not gonna work or it's gonna throw like a null reference error. So we'll go node, then we're gonna go left child. Then here, we're gonna do our console dot right line. And we're gonna go node dot key can just show our key and go right here have a nice little white space so here go down and then we're going to do the exact same thing and IntelliSense went ahead and did that for us so remember recur this is where recursion is happening so the recursion is going to keep happening this is going to be our base case and look at the similarity look at the similarities between for the in order traversal versus um, the, the actual visual representation. It's, the, it's like the exact same thing. So in our in order, we're passing in the, the left child and the right child, and we're doing it in the same function. So we're gonna go left, node, right. Left, node, which is our console log value, right. And that's pretty much all there is to it, and it's a very elegant algorithm. So here, you can pretty much copy and paste this too because they're so similar. So here, um, pre-order. So we're just going to call this pre-order traversal. And for the pre-order, the actual console dot right line is right here. And it's going to be the same thing. It's going to be node left, right and pre-order traversal. We're gonna call pre-order traversal, just like that. And if you check for the pre-order, it's the same exact thing. Node is equal to the console log. We're gonna go left child, right child, and that's pre-order. Now, post-order, like literally the exact same thing. So we can just go down here Go down, we'll just call this post order, change this to 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 post order, and for the post order, we can go left, right node. So this is actually going to be on the bottom, and it's as easy as that. And the best part about this too is that whenever you go to an interview, they're probably not even gonna make you code this. They're just gonna ask you. Um, I've actually been asked about trees and they didn't even require me to actually code it. They just wanted to know what an in order, post order, and pre order traversal was. So I wouldn't even worry so much about getting this down pat like 100% as long as you can kind of technically explain this process to the interviewer. I think you should be okay, unless you're trying to you know, maybe get into Google or something. But in that case, you're gonna have to do more studying and this isn't gonna be probably enough for you. This is more aimed at just total 100% beginners. Anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this. If you did, make sure to hit that like button, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And as always, thank you for watching.